Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and had a lovely week so far. Today's video is going to be a mini Victoria's Secrets haul. I'm currently on the hunt for the perfect bra and I've got a few from Marks and Spencers and they're just not really doing it for me and obviously at the moment in the UK shops are shut so I can't really go and see bras and try them on and all that fun stuff um, I feel like that's not spoken about enough um, that it's so hard to find the perfect bra do we just settle for a bra that we like and there feels like there's no in between between a comfy bra and a pretty bra um, so if you guys have got any suggestions please do let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out everything in today's haul I did pick up in this sale because I refuse to pay like 50, 60 pounds for a bra outright that I can't go and try on in store first. If I try it on in store and I love it, then I would buy it. But I just can't bring myself to spend that money on a bra online to probably then just have to send it back. And I'm currently trying to figure out what size I am in Victoria's Secret. So you'll probably see that as I go through, I've picked up a variation of sizes most of which don't fit and is really disappointing but you know i thought i would share it with you guys and show you what bargains i've managed to pick up i'm so sorry if you can see my dog in the background um he may be making an appearance throughout today's video clearly um and he's gone right so i picked up 10 bras although two of those i haven't been given i've been given different bras as replacements i assume but i wasn't notified that they're out of stock and checking their website they're still in stock so i do not know what's happened but i've been substituted completely different bras for what i've ordered which is so infuriating like one of them's not even the same size as one that i ordered um so i'm really baffled by that and in all honesty quite annoyed that they didn't notify me that either it was out of stock or they were going to replace it or substitute it but there's nothing i can do about it and it's not the end of the world but that's just super frustrating so like i said i've ordered 10 bras five of which i am going to be keeping so i will show you those five first i did get a different sort of range of sizes and styles so they didn't fit me or just wasn't too keen on them so the first bra that i've decided to keep is this one it's definitely not the sexiest but you know you've got to put comfort first sometimes and yeah do you, do you know what it is a really lovely color it's like a muted rosy brownie color um and it's wireless or god it sounds electronic if i say that um it's not underwired but it's still very very supportive it's just got the band at the back with the victoria's secret logo and to be fair the back is quite pretty it's got a lacy back into it and then it still does up like a normal bra it's very difficult to get on because obviously you have to get that bit over your neck and then still do it up at the back but you know it, it's worth it it's worth it um i think this one cost me 22 pounds around about that price but it is just so unbelievably soft that's one thing i will say with all the bras is i can see how people justify spending the money on them and i think i could easily pick up one of their full price bras and not regress it because they just feel so soft and so comfortable and from wearing a couple of them they just don't dig in the way other bras do i think bras like this are perfect just for wearing every day under t-shirts obviously they don't give you any particular lift or anything like that it's just lightly lined I wouldn't say it's a push-up bra so yeah i really like this one. Oh, there is actually the original price on it so 40 pounds this bra was originally and i paid 22 so i got it nigh on half price and just for reference the five that i'm keeping i think are all 32 triple d's um i don't know if that equates i'm pretty sure on the website it said like 32 triple d equals an f so i don't know if that's a 32 f um but i will go through the sizes of the ones that i've decided to keep as i show you them sorry rupert's back in the background and now he's gonna get the star of the show do you want to be the star of the show? Do you want to show on the bras? <laughs> so the second bra I picked up is probably even more of a granny bra than the first one. It is this sort of underwire push-up bra. Um, it fastens at the front. So the back looks like this. Try and show you a little bit better. And then obviously it just unclips at the front 
like so so you put your arms through and then do it up the front obviously a lot easier to put on than the first one the colors um like a very very soft lilac -y purple i'd say it's like a pinky lilac um again i put this up in a 32 triple d and in terms of costs i think this was 17 pounds 78 which is very specific um but yeah i really like it again it's a perfect everyday bra because it's so soft at the back it doesn't dig in like some bras can but it's got the underwire so it's got the support oh, i would actually say this next bra is my favorite although it's probably also the most boring it is just a plain black lined but not padded but still has underwire bra um i firstly really like the way this sits so when it's on it sort of goes in at a slant i don't know what style you would call it but um yeah it's just got black with some gold hardware and it only costs eight pounds 89 which is just such a bargain and i'm so tempted to order a couple more of these but the thing that frustrates me victoria's secrets is the shipping is eight pounds so unless i spend 70 pounds and get like 10 of these bras i just can't justify spending the whole cost of another bra for the shipping um it's funny isn't it if it was 18 pounds and free shipping i'd order it straight away but i just refuse to pay the additional shipping um so yeah this is probably the most basic of the bras but again just for everyday wear when you want to be comfortable it's got no padding so you can just sort of let the girls hang a little bit freer um it is so so soft as well um it's i'd probably say in between the other two so the first one's really silky and the second one was like cottony this one feels borderline suede it's that soft of a cotton um so yeah i think if you're going to pick up any bras from victoria's secrets a hundred percent this is going to become a staple in my bra wardrobe so the next two bras I'm going to be showing you are actually like the replacements or substitutes, whatever you would call them. Um, but it actually worked out for the best because clearly I'm keeping them and I don't actually know how I'd refund them anyway because what product do I return? Because theoretically I didn't order them. Anyway, it's all fine. This one's a little bit more girly. So it is a really pretty pink bra. Again, picked it up in a 32 triple d or 32f or whatever they refer it to um it's a really nice sort of corally baby pink with lace over the top at the back it's just got the ribbed sort of detailing again super super soft cotton bra i'm so sorry rupert is having a scratch in the background <laughs> um one thing i really like with some of the victoria's secret bras is i've noticed that they've got four clips instead of three so you can really tailor them to make sure they fit you um and support you properly but it's really nice it's got a few extra details so obviously it's got the lace and then at the front instead of it just sort of meeting up in the middle or being fully joined they've got that extra detail so just makes you feel a little bit more sexy i suppose but it's obviously on the sexiness scale not quite up there and then it's just got the victoria's secret branding on the straps um but yeah this is a really really cute bra the last bra that i'm going to be keeping is this blue bralette now again this wasn't one that i ordered um it should it actually came instead of you know the black one that i showed you a couple of bras ago um they sent that <laughs> You want your minute of fame, Rupert? Sorry. So like I was saying, I didn't actually order this one and it came as a replacement for the other black bra that I have. Um, so it should have been £8, but from looking on the website, actually, this one's about £25. So I got a good deal, you could say. And luckily it was my size because obviously this is not in actual bra sizes. This comes as like small, medium, large, etc. So they sent me a medium and luckily it fit. But I assume, because the little bag that came in was for the right bra, that something's gone wrong somewhere along the line. So even though it's a bralette, it does have a sort of the clips at the back to fasten it like a normal bra. It's got pads inside that you can remove so you can have it as fully sort of lace. It's super soft and lined and sort of silky on the inside, but then obviously really soft lace on the outside. It is really pretty and it does look really nice with a tan. Um, and it's quite a nice piece that I suppose you could layer underneath if you've got a shirt on and you want a little bit of a pop of bra and um, i like to do that so yeah i actually am really happy in a way that i ended up getting sent this by accident now moving on to the five bras that i didn't choose to keep is 
this one i am so gutted about this um it's underwired it's definitely more of a push-up so i don't think the style would have quite been for me anyway but it's got gold sort of accents to it it's a really pretty color it's got some mesh detailing on that bit i don't know what you'd even call that the, the strap no it's not the strap the band the band the banding's got nice detail um but unfortunately i ordered it in 32 g which is completely not my size so it has to go back but i think it was um 17 pounds 78 um but genuinely all the bras no matter what i paid for them like you can completely justify buying them in a sale because even at full price they're just such good quality i used to have a bra from victoria's secrets and it just lasted no matter how much you washed it the material held together and it always stayed nice and supportive and nice and comfortable so yeah this one's unfortunately going back the next bra i got is a lightly lined non-underwired bra in all honesty it really reminds me of a sports bra and i did get this in a 32 triple d but it is just tiny like i could barely do it up it was so tight so i don't know if it is a sports bra but they don't describe it as that and um, it's got really thick straps with the gold victoria detailing um on them it's, it's a nice simple bra but the sizing for some reason on this one was just way off and also don't know if you can see but the cups feel really far apart so yeah it just it just wasn't right for me but if you are looking to pick this one up, it's on at £17.78. So Rupert's joined us back again for nearly the final of my little haul. Um, the next bra I have got, do you know what? I think three of these bras, the non-wired ones that are sort of lightly lined, are the same bra, um, just in different colours. But then the style differs slightly. Um, but the reason I'm sending this one back is because it's a 32 double D. So I haven't even bothered trying it on. Um, and it is a push-up, so I just know fully it's not going to fit um but it's a really lovely color so it's like this tealy silvery blue color wow that description is amazing and then the straps at the back are just like this so it is so so pretty um and if it was in my size i would definitely be keeping it but it's not so it's got to go back but it, like i said not wired is a push-up bra and it was in the sale for 17 pounds 78 as well the second to last bra it's actually the same style as the pink one that I just recently showed you that I'm not keeping. So it is just in a minty green colour. Is that mint green or is that blue? I can't really tell. But you know, it's going back so I don't really care. Um, it's got the gold V detailing as well. Obviously got the mesh on the band. Um, I got this one in a 32 double D but obviously doesn't fit me. Um, so this and the pink one's going back, but I think they would be really good under, um, <laughs> t-shirts, I'm gonna say it, um, because they're just so smooth, like, it doesn't have the wire separately, it's all sort of just really soft and sort of sculpting, um, so I'm gutted that I didn't pick any of this style up in the correct size, maybe they didn't have it, but like I said, I'm not gonna be placing another order, because oh, I'd rather just wait and go into store, to be honest, so, yeah, this is the perfect sort of t-shirt bra, I would say, if you are looking for that and you just want a little bit of a lift because it is push-up. Um, and again, I'm pretty sure it was about £17.78, as they all seem to be. I don't know if you can see, but Rupert is watching me in the mirror. Like, he is so unbelievably clever. I don't know if anyone else got a Springer Spaniel or a Spaniel, but they are so intelligent. Like, he will sit in his bed downstairs when we're eating dinner, and he knows not to watch us whilst we're eating, but he will sit there and watch us. We've got a mirror, like a full length mirror downstairs, and he will sit in his crate like this, watch us, and then watch back at us eating. And you'll just catch him in the mirror and be like, What are you doing? So, he's either checking himself out or he's watching me. Um, He's definitely watching me. <laughs> so last but certainly not least is this pink lacy front fastening bra. I'm actually really upset this doesn't fit me. And I tried it on. I was like, mm, does it? And it looks fine from the front. And then you turn to the side and I've just got the over bulge. So I've got like a boob and then the bra and then another boob. So yeah, it, it just doesn't fit and it's got to go back. But it is so pretty. So the back is like that. And obviously it doesn't fasten at the back so you've got a really nice sort of smoothing back and then it does just do up she says at the front 
um i do really like these front fasten bras because they're so much easier to put on um and i'm really really gutted that this doesn't fit me um but let me actually check how much it costs oh what a shock 17 pounds 78 again um i'm really sorry i feel like i'm holding these bras like right up to my face like a hat um and yeah but obviously i'm not going to try them on for you guys because that would probably be a little bit too far um so yeah this was the final bra that i picked up but i'm um, sadly sadly returning so guys that goes ahead and concludes today's video showing you the bits that i picked up in the victoria's secret sale i think in total it cost me about 155 pounds for the 10 bras which is is actually insane because i think when i bought like three bras from marks and spencers it was not 100 pounds so um all things considered you can pick up some really 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 good deals in the sale um but do let me know in the comments below if you've got any recommendations for a good brand or a good type of bra to go for because i am on the hunt for my perfect sort of everyday go-to bra it doesn't have to be anything fancy but just something nice and supportive and comfy because trying to find bras in my size is very difficult um and i have heard um good things about is it bub or boo avenue um and i have got a couple from them but they just none of them seem to fit right so if you've got any recommendations guys please do let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys next week